Hey guys. So in this video I will discuss about Medici's treasure event. And I'll give you a guide and some tips about this event. If you notice this event is held once a week, and you can get various free rewards and ranking rewards too, so don't miss it and do your best to get more rewards. To get better results there are several things that can be done, first use the city buff. The most important is troop expansion. Then attack bonuses. And HP bonuses. If you can you should use all of it. And don't forget to appoint officers who can also increase the number of fleets. So with more numbers of course the fleet will become stronger. Then you can use the fast expansion of the commander skill if you can. Next for the set army, if you already have a good formation then do it as usual. Don't forget to add biochemical zombies, because they're usually manual unless you're already set in formation. You can only save troops once and can't replay, so it's best not to make a mistake before setting out. Then you can use a special buff for Medici's treasure. There are two buffs for HP and attack and you have to use gold to activate both. So in total there are four buffs including the city buff. If you want faster you can use this button to clear all the zombies in the first few layers. You can use 40 gold, or if you don't want to, then do it manually. But I suggest it's better to use 40 gold if you don't want to waste time anyway the initial layer is too easy and uninteresting. Then it's just a matter of collecting all the rewards, because some things you have to choose so it has to be done manually. Then the most important part is how to do it properly and effectively. Try to open all the squares that can be unlocked without having to attack the monsters, unless there is no other way. In attacking monsters, you should prioritize attacking the boss if you have found it. Unless you find a contaminated building first then prioritize attacking the building and that's the most important thing you need to find. The advantage of attacking the boss first is. In this case after selecting it will increase the number of precision parts obtained. And in other cases can increase the number or strength of the fleet. In each layer there is a contaminated building and there are three types of buildings that have different functions. The first building is a medical station. The advantage after unlocking this building is that it will reduce the wounded troops by 30%. The second building is armory. The advantage is increasing damage by 20%. If you previously failed to fight the boss then the advantages of this building can help you to beat the boss. The last building is the radar station. And the advantage is that all squares will be changed to already explored if you have unlocked this building. So we no longer need to open squares one by one. So we can immediately collect rewards first, after that we can directly attack the boss. In addition to the previous three buildings, there are also other buildings, namely a special shop and a supply shop. For the special shop, we can buy items for Titan and also for the biochemical lab. And if you have a lot of gold you better not miss this opportunity. For the supply shop we can buy items that can be used to fight against monsters. And there is no need to worry if this item is unused because after the event ends the item will be converted to biochemical material. So the gold you use will not be wasted. A total of 5 items that can help you fight monsters and all have different advantages, so you have to know them in order to use them properly. The first is guided bomb, you can directly kill the target with this bomb except the boss, and it's best to use this bomb when pressed or in the last layer, where you can't kill the target by attacking it. And never waste these bombs on initial layers or on weak monsters. The second is a stimulant, its function is to increase attack by 50%, so if you previously failed to defeat a monster, then a stimulant can help you to defeat it. And usually before using stimulants, when fighting difficult monsters or bosses, 
before that I used a first aid kit. So when this third item is used, no troops are wounded in the next battle. So when you want to attack a monster that gets stronger in each subsequent layer, and you are unsure whether to win or not, especially against bosses, then you can use this first. Whatever the result, win or lose, there are no wounded troops. Very good if you win, and if you lose then after that you can use stimulants and the number of troops is not reduced from before. Next for the fourth item is Hand of Midas. When you lose against the boss even though you have used stimulants, then Hand of Midas is the solution. But you have to buy it for 699 AOZ coins or 6.99 USD. And you will get three kinds of this item. If you want to buy it, you should consider whether you still have this item in stock. And make sure you still have enough troops to defeat the rest of the monsters. Unless you really want these rewards or your big spenders, then that's up to you. But if you are just a medium spender down then better not buy it and you can use 699 AOZ coins to buy something better. This is an example of a situation where I would not buy a Hand of Midas. Where I have run out of guided bombs and first aid kits, and too many troops have been wounded. And the rewards in that layer have all been obtained, so even if I buy a Hand of Midas and defeat the boss, but in the next layer I won't be able to defeat monsters anymore, and there is definitely no more reward that I can get. In other words I only bought this for 699 AOZ coins. I don't think it's worth it at all. So I have to settle for rank 35. And as for the rank reward if I manage to enter rank 20, the reward amount isn't that much different either, so it's just a waste of coins, so it's best to use it for something more useful. And here the condition is quite good, and I bought a package and hand of Midas. And I did it because I still have 4 guided bombs. And I can still buy some items in the supply shop. Notice this, where I failed against a level 13 zombie in the next layer. So if there wasn't a guided bomb, it was certain that I would be trapped and couldn't do anything else. So if you want to buy a Hand of Midas package, it's better if you have a guided bomb in stock. Because the next layer will be much more difficult, and without a guided bomb you probably won't be able to get all the rewards on that layer. And tips for choosing this effect. From the start always choose to increase the number of troop except in the last layer like now, I mean the last level where you definitely won't be able to beat the boss. Because usually when in the last layer there is no longer an option to heal the wounded with gold. Even though you have many wounded troops, never choose heal wounded and always choose troop amount. The reason is clear by increasing the troops amount automatically the fleet will get stronger. So if you do it from the initial layer then the number of your troops will always increase to be much more than before. And then to heal wounded troops using gold, don't be in a hurry, and as long as you can still beat the monsters then keep doing it until you are defeated. And after you are defeated then it's time to use gold to heal all wounded. As seen with only 300 gold then everything will be healed. So it doesn't matter how many troops wounded the cost remains the same 300 gold, and you can only do it two times. That's why you shouldn't be in a hurry and use it after many troops are wounded or can no longer fight because they have been defeated. And if you are non-spenders and have very little gold, then this is the main thing you need to do, total 600 gold you need to spend to heal troops two times. Next up is the ranking issue. As we know everyone has different statistics and troop levels and also the number of fleets that can be brought is also different. You could say in this case who spends the most is definitely stronger and will certainly be able to get better rankings in all event competitions. But if the power ratio is the same or differs only slightly, then if one person performs in a different or wrong way, and the other performs correctly and effectively, one can be sure that the one who does it right will get a better ranking. You can prove it yourself, if before you did it the other way then now you can do according to the guide I gave and see if your score increases from before. 
and as proof this is my latest ranking, where I managed to get rank 15 out of 4 nations. And it can be said that I rank in the top 5 if from nation 512. Even though in terms of city and officer rankings I am only in the top 20 and 30. And this is my ranking in the previous few weeks. But at that time I still made some small mistakes, so it wasn't as effective as it is now. Next I will make a complete video while doing this event, because I'm worried that someone will still be confused. I hope this video is useful and can help you to be better than before in doing this event. Thanks for watching, see you.